Oh wait, this mercy hides again. Oh, come on! How did- Hello everyone, welcome to another Dehan video. My name's Dehan, and today we're going to be looking at a Plat of Tease player. This is going to be on Nubani. The player said that they didn't really do well the first round, but felt like they did better the second and third round. And they want to know what they need to do better and if they're playing like a diamond player. Hopefully we're not setting up here. It's not a very good place to set up for Nubani because you as the defending team actually have no cover playing around this area. The traditional way you play Nubani is most play players will actually play here because it forces the enemy team to kind of come out to you guys and you have high ground. And the only way that they can secure high ground is to go up these stairs to fight you for it. But if you're playing any boop heroes, you can easily boop them back off. Uh, looks like we're playing here. So what we're doing right now is we're giving high ground for free. So see that Doomfist is just a easily able to jump up on that high ground and contest us same as that genji killing our junk rat over there and this kind of forces us all to you know just be surrounded by the enemy team because they're all on high ground so a better spot that i would have played which isn't where you're playing right now is going to be here or play over by this post if we were back by this post area we'd be able to see the whole fight before us we can go help our junk rat with the far and the mercy over there by shooting at him we can heal this ramatra down here help out that person the symmetra throw down our immortality field and pressure this far again who's just kind of floating in for free instead we were kind of bit caught down here surrounded and couldn't really get a good grasp on things and that is why you guys want to you know when playing nubani you guys want to hold this high ground up here so this looks good we're definitely applying our damage well applying some pressure but also putting in some heals I'm gonna say the same thing. You were playing on that low ground there when you could have just been playing on bust right here and doing the exact same thing. It would have put you in a less chaotic event and you would have been able to heal a little bit more. Remember, Bat doesn't really need to get close because all of his weapons and ammunition doesn't have fall off. He does 25 damage, no fall off from range with his gun and he does 50 on impact with his nades and another 30, I believe of AOE healing. The good ult. Yeah, so that was good ult. We should hear that mercy though. We definitely heard someone in heals behind us. Yeah, we can heal hear the mercy here. There's the mercy. Uh. We are bouncing a lot. The good news is they don't have any hitscan players, but I'm going to say in general, you don't want to be using your crouch to jump this much if they have hitscan players. It works out because you're playing against a Farah and a Genji, so it's going to be tougher for the Farah to actually hit you with rockets. But that's something to keep in mind. If you're doing this a lot against something like a Widow, you're just going to get headshot pretty quickly. Us sitting back more allowed us to apply a lot more healing and support than we could otherwise. Unlucky. Yeah, we need to, We definitely need to use our ult sometime, though. That ult is very quick to get. So I wouldn't be afraid of just popping that ult whenever you get it. Oh, wait, this mercy hides again. Oh, come on! How did... 
That's okay. That's a stagger. That's a big stagger on them. If you're a Mercy and you go for a hide and then try to do a res like that, don't do that unless no one's on point because that's going to be a huge stagger and it's going to set you guys all back. And you're going to be spending more time trying to group up than you will actually getting anything out of that. Plus the defensive team has quick spawn. Get the mercy, please. Okay. Can we pop our alt? Can we pop alt here? There we go. All right, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It just looks like we suck ourselves into that fight a little too much, so we can't see the big picture and what we need to be working on. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week to help you guys climb. If you guys have a video that you want me to see, feel free to comment it down below. Down here is a good idea to hold, but I think if I were you, I probably would have jumped up here and played this pillar a little more. That way I can provide support here if I want to, and I have this as hard cover rather than the Ramatra shield. Also, Junkrat doesn't have high ground on us then, so it's going to be harder for him to actually aim to hit off this back wall and hit us here. These This Junkrat has just free reign on us. We need to do something to pressure that junk route off, off the high ground. All right, looks like we finally got him with his ult. He does get two, so this is going to be a little slower. There, you could have used your matrix to maybe double the healing on your reaper more and keep him alive. It would have been a hard turn of the fight, but it could have it could have worked. This is not a good idea because they have a junk route. Junkrat kind of just gets a lot of value pushing into this choke. I think the Junkrat jumped down, though. When are we going to use our ult? Let's go back to high ground, maybe. There we go. No, high ground. Yeah, we're just not using the high ground. All of this pressure on us, we can avoid if we if we move move to high ground. But we're kind of just bouncing around as awkward as we can, just trying to get ourselves, you know, to work out. So you guys all shouldn't be pushing the car here either. You guys should be trying to gain as much space as possible. And when I mean try to gain as much space as possible, as soon as you cap this point, the next point you guys want to be holding against the enemy team is either going to be this bus corner if you can or here you get you want to do that because it allows you guys to push this payload all the way to those corners if you don't push out there's a chance that the enemy team might hold this corner on you guys and so now you'll have to beat them here and then maybe beat them here and then you, they have one last fight to recontest point if you push bus angle then you guys have two fights to win out second point so you guys shouldn't all be sitting on card you guys need to push up and actually start holding the space that you're allowed to get for free with a moira you don't have to focus too much on your team you you can be a little more damaging because your moira is going to be keeping up your team mostly all on her own unless she's a damaged moira which this moira doesn't seem like a damaged moira Yeah, I'd like to see us doing a lot more damage here. You guys are just kind of healing your team and hoping something gets done with it. And, and your Ramatra isn't taking any damage, so he doesn't need you to constantly be popping him with grenades. Like, you can do something with your gun. And then you can... Okay, that's a good immortality. All right, let's, around this corner, let's pop our... We should pop our ult and give our Symmetra huge value on her right clicks. 
We should pop our ult. We should pop our ult. This is a winnable fight. We just need to pop our ult. And we're, we're just holding on to our ult too much. We need, we need to... You know, we need to use momentum. And now they're popping ults. And... They won because they popped their ults. We didn't pop ours. Oh, uh, looks like Doomfist fed again. I guess we're gonna pop ult here. There it is. Same deal. This is a lot of moving, strafing, and jiggling. All of those jiggling and things could have been accomplished if we just stood here and did the exact same thing. We didn't need to do all this, like, weird jumping around, running around things. If you ask me, it just kind of exposes you to be more of a target because you're just standing in open areas, jumping up and down. Um, things we need to work on, we need to sit back a little bit more and so we can watch the whole fight play out. We need to be applying more pressure to the enemy team, especially if we have something like a Moira on our team, because she can keep our team up a lot more reliably than other supports potentially could, which gives you more room to use your gun to apply damage, especially because it has no fall off at long ranges. We definitely need to be using that amplification matrix more because we get that very quick. It's one of the fastest alts I believe you can get in the game. If you want to see another Baptiste video, uh, click the card above my head. I do have a, another one of a Masters player trying to push for GM, so hopefully that's going to help too. And you can study his gameplay too and see what you know he needs to do better as well. Anyways, I hope it helps, and happy climbing.